Welcome. You've survived Thanksgiving. And now we are on a roll toward, drum roll please, New Year's. And you've probably already heard people say, you know, what are your New Year's resolutions? Or you're beginning to think to yourself, oh, I really need to come up with my New Year's resolutions. Um, okay, so let's dive into New Year's resolutions what makes them stick and what makes them perhaps not make it past January 15th, which is, by the way, the day that a whole lot or somewhere in that zone, a whole lot of people sort of give up on their New Year's resolutions. Because here's a little tip for you. New Year's resolutions, for the most part, are a whole lot of hype and not really the best time to get started on something new. The best time to get started on carrying forth with some new activity like giving up drinking or smoking or starting that new eating plan or getting to the gym or whatever it is you want to do, maybe a whole 30. Today is a great day to start that. Um, there really is no need to wait for the big hype of January 1st. But if you choose to, or if you choose to start today, let's talk about a couple of things that make starting something new effective and some ways that you can sabotage yourself. Um, so let's talk about the sabotage part first, okay? Sabotage part number one, you probably have set your sights too high. If you think that you're going to go from zero to 100 or 100 to zero, all in one fell swoop, I'm here to tell you that's not likely going to work. That's not how change works for us. And when you hear people say, well, I just stopped. Yeah, they didn't just stop. They've been trying to stop. And this is the time where it sort of took and they were able to go for a long period of time without doing or getting into trouble with. But really, truly, they didn't just stop. That doesn't happen. Okay, so I hope you know that. Um, please pick your goals. Please pick where you want to go with a fair amount of care. If you want to lose 150 pounds, that's great. But how about if we start with a goal of losing five pounds? Or how about if we start with the goal of making sure that one meal a day is really good and nutritious and balanced? That's the way to start. Nice, easy, manageable things. So tip number one, let's not set yourself up for a disaster. Tip number two, be careful of your timing. Probably also not a good idea to be starting off on something brand new when you are a couple of hours away from starting a vacation or when you are planning to go somewhere wonderful and great and oh, they're going to have all you can whatever. Um, there's no need to set yourself up that way. And it's also going to make for a miserable experience. So if you can, try to pick and choose your times carefully, okay? Or somewhat carefully. But again, today's a good day to get started with just one little thing. Whatever that is, you can do one thing, okay? Um, some ways to make it successful for yourself. Be sure that, again, you set up realistic goals, okay? Make them super specific. Again, I'm, I'm it, just because it's, it's a really common goal, let's use weight loss for a quick second. I want to lose 150 pounds. Okay, fantastic. But really, right now, a specific goal would be I want to lose two pounds. I want to make sure that I eat healthy today. The further down we can break it, the more likely we are to find success. Okay. I, and then, so these are technically called SMART goals. Some people really don't like that term, but it does work. So if they're specific, they're measurable. Did I really do what I wanted to do? Okay. Are they action oriented? Are they realistic in their, in their, their, their goals? Like, are you, did you set yourself up or is this obtainable? And are they time limited or time spaced? In the next week, I want to eat a healthy lunch every day or four out of five days, I want to have a healthy lunch. That's time limited. And, and that means that we're not saying I want to eat healthy and we have three healthy meals in the next year. That that's not going to really get us where we want to go. Just putting it out there. OK, so New Year's resolutions are best done if we make them manageable, if we make them realistic and if we put some time frames on them. We also know that they're super realistic, realistically met if we circle in others, if we bring in others to help us with those goals. So that's why peer support groups are so helpful. That's why it's useful to bring in people who 
not only are you accountable to and with, but who will support you in your, your goals that you've set. You don't want to be asking for support from somebody who's going to end up bringing home, you know, take out food for the next month as you try to eat your fresh, healthy meals that you've, you know, planned and prepped and, and you're really excited for. Okay, so be sure that you bring into that, into your little world and into your goals, people who can be helpful to you. All right. Okay, I hope that that gets you started as we begin to think about the year ahead. Um, for all of us, I hope the year ahead is significantly better and very different than the year that we've just had. Okay, my name is Lisa Curtis. I am a licensed clinical social worker and a credentialed alcohol and substance abuse counselor. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.